How's it going everyone? My name is McHugh and welcome to Toilet Talk. Today I'm going to be talking about... Oh that's right, my whole theory about friends and decaying friends and that thing. Hopefully the subject of what I'm going to be talking about is going to be in the title of the video. So I guess there's no real reason to say what I'm going to be talking about. But no, no, I'll just say it anyway. I'm going to be talking about my observation of decaying friends. Now this has no means happened to me recently. Just something I've noticed a trend between friends and their relationships and some people in my life as well. Decaying friends, what is that? It's pretty much when your friend's dying and their skin's just peeling off, it's all gross. No, not in the literal term, I'm not talking about the actual decaying friends. I'm merely talking about friends that are your friends, but over the years they kind of fall off your friend meter in a sense. I'm not talking about friends that have done something horrible in your life and that's the reason why you're not friends is because they did something horrible. No, I'm talking about friends that are your friends, but through the passing of time, you aren't really friends anymore. That's not to say that you are friends, just it's not the same. It's mostly just time goes by and you don't see each other and just you kind of grow out of each other. And I've found that this happens a lot during the college phase. You get your friends in high school, your group, and then graduate and everyone splits off into different colleges and different aspects of their life that they go into because that's adulthood. We go and become our own people as an adult. We become hopefully a contributing member of society and not be a bum and or serial murder. Or the most common thing I see about decaying friends is that you might message them or you might come into contact with each other like on spring break or a holiday break and you two are both in the same town, your hometown maybe, or you just meet up together, whether it's like at college or just, you meet, you meet up together, I'm just rambling. So you meet up or you just talk to the person and the conversation usually goes, Hey, how's it going? Oh, it's so good to see you. It is. So how have you been? I'm doing pretty good. How about yourself? Doing great. Just, just great. It's, everything's great. Well, that's great. Cool. How are you liking your college? Oh, I love it. It's fantastic. How about yours? Mine's okay, it's just, you know, getting by with the grades and the school and the teachers and you know how that goes. Ah oh, yeah, been there, done that. Well, I need to go, but we should definitely find the time to hang out and catch up. Yeah, that definitely, yeah, we should totally do that. That sounds great. Awesome, well, I'll see you later then. Keyword, we should get together sometime. I can't tell you how many times I've heard this with my own friends or people in my grade or even other friends that I knew around my hometown that have just said this to me or I've heard them say to other people. And while the premise is good, clear, and innocent, most of the time that doesn't really follow through. Nobody really wants to be the person to initiate on when you two should get together to catch up. Now, that's not to say that this never happens. The point is, people want to get together, but it's more of a general saying of how do you do than actual, we're still friends, let's hang out. It's become kind of a, a nuisance to say it the least whenever I hear it, because there'd be two friends that I know that were best friends in high school and now they rarely hang out at all. I get that life happens and the two people just have different lives now, but isn't that still a little bit crazy that at one point in their lives they were so important to each other, but now it's now they're just now they're just a person on the street that they knew. I don't know, it really just bothers me that that's what our lives have become. Just the phrase we should hang out soon just really has just become a thing to say out of politeness 
And I think that's kind of half-assed, excuse my language, but that's the truth. At least that's what I think. In the long term, they mean well, but it, no one seems to want to follow through with any of it. I mean, in the day and age that we live in, we can have Facebook and Twitter and we can see each other's pictures and really be part of their lives, but still at the same time not be part of their lives. And now that I think about it, that might be the reason why that when we say we should hang out again, but no one ever follows through with it, is because of the internet and social media. I mean, back in the day when people wanted to hang out that they haven't seen forever, they would actually call them up and not just look through their phone to find their number. They would memorize their number just so they can talk to them and just hang out. Versus social media where everyone can get a little slice or a little piece of everyone else's lives at the same time in real time as it happens. And it's like they're there experiencing that with them, but they don't feel the need to go out and make their own experiences with other people because they can just find it on the internet. Just a crazy generational thing, I suppose. It's just pretty nutty how that stuff works out. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all I have to say on that matter. Kind of a weird, short mess of things, but I don't know, it's just something I've always thought about and just kind of an oddity at that. So if you have ever heard this or even said it yourself, have you actually followed through with hanging out with whoever you say to? I'm not sure why I turned into William Shatner. I'm not even using a good voice for him, but I keep pausing and I'm doing these things with my hands that I don't know, so I'm just gonna stop that now. But anyway, if you have ever heard this or said this to someone else, did you actually follow through? Let me know in the comments and just explain explain your story. I mean, did it actually happen? Did you feel guilty about not ever hanging out with that person? Just let me know in the comments down below. Be sure to like this video and check out the other videos I have posted around here or in my channel. And if this is your first time at Toilet Talk, then be sure to hit the subscribe button just so you can get more weekly vlogs. I do these every Sunday. And hey, with the channel continuously growing, I'm sure I'll get more traffic through here eventually. I mean, I'm up to 50 subscribers. That's incredible. I'm halfway to my goal of 100 subscribers by the end of the year, so... Hopefully, the people who are watching this who are already subscribed to me are gonna start seeing more people to this channel's family. Hopefully. So, that's all said and done, and that's my opinion on the matter. I'm McHugh, and I'll see you in the next video. See you later.